Welcome back to another episode of the You, Me, and Jesus podcast. I'm so excited for this series. This is our series where we're talking about hearing God. This is actually episode four. If you are just joining this in on the podcast or on YouTube and you're joining this for the first time, then you've actually missed episode one, two, and three. And you want to go back and either listen to that or watch that. We are on every single podcast station known to man. And we are also on YouTube. And so you can find us by just searching You, Me, and and Jesus, and you'll find all the things to be able to connect with that. Today, as we're talking about ways to be able to hear God, I want to talk about talking to a mentor. Now, here's my disclaimer. Your mentor is not God and should not be your only time you talk to God, period. You want to make sure that your first, like every time you are, have a question about something, your first line of ask is always to God. Now I will tell you, as I always do, I will tell you about my personal experiences. So for years, I would get a mentor and I would make the mentor into God. And it's because I trusted their relationship with God, their ability to hear God more than I trusted my own ability to hear God. I mean, I did that for years and unfortunately it cost me some relationships. It caused me to not really think that I was hearing God, you know, all the things I've made so many mistakes in my life. You know, if you're listening, Jennifer, Daphne, anybody else, I'm really sorry. Uh, so it cost me all that, you know, because I was, you know, making them into God. I didn't know that I was doing that, but years later, now that I have been on my journey with God by myself, I'm like, oh, this is what that looks like. Just want to say that first. So what does it look like as it pertains to hearing God with talking to a mentor? Okay, here's how I do it. So I have my mentors, right? And she or he has a personal close relationship with Jesus. What I do first is I go to God first. I spend time journaling, praying, talking to God and all that to get an answer. And I typically get an answer, right? So I don't go to the mentor until I have some type of answer. Now, when I need to seek a mentor, it's because the answer is conflicting, right? So it's, or it's confusing. So I have this answer, but there's this part of me that's just like, that just doesn't seem right. And so when it's like that, and there's this like double-mindedness of what's going on, you know, like the Bible says, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. And we're unstable when we're double-minded. And so when I'm finding myself in this double-minded state, because that could happen to anybody, then that is when I bring a mentor into the picture. And it's because I need someone else, first of all, praying into the situation. I'm not necessarily going to the mentor so they can give me God's answer for me. I'm going to them because I'm like, okay, I need to invite in counsel because there's there's scripture in the Bible that says uh, through the multitude of counsel, there is safety. When I think about what that means, safety means that means multiple opinions or wisdom or revelation that makes sense. So not just an opinion because he or she has one, but like revelation and wisdom based upon the years of experience, their relationship with God, then with me and all the things. Okay. When I'm trying to hear God, here is what I do with the mentor. I will say to the mentor, okay, here is my scenario. I want you to listen in on this. See if you're hearing God say anything as I share this. If you hear anything, feel free to share. If not, I'm inviting you to pray so that I can hear clear. And then I tell them whatever the scenario is. I don't leave anything out, whether it's going to make me look good, make me look bad, whatever it is, I tell them all the things so that they have all the information because, you know, sometimes we don't tell people everything because we're like, uh, well, this is what I did and we're ashamed or whatever is going on. And I'm like, the best way to get the best advice or wisdom from a mentor is for them to get all the things. That's why you can't be out there doing nothing crazy. So that's why you got to be submitted and not, you know, doing all the foolishness. That way, when you go get some advice, you're not trying to hide, you know, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm talking about. We've all have been there. So I've tell them the whole scenario and I say, and this is what I've done with God. I've done this and this and this. And here is what I'm hearing. If I'm hearing multiple things, I'll say, I'm hearing this, this, and this. And I'm just telling them everything. And then they'll say, okay, most times my mentor will not tell me what they're thinking or feeling. A good mentor will start asking you more questions because the, the greatest thing is for you to get clarity from your own self. For someone to ask you questions and ask you questions and you're hearing and you're getting clearer and clearer and clearer and clearer. I know, um, I think about a year, two years ago, there was a guy who who resurfaced in my life. We 
friends forever. We can finish each other's sentence. I mean, a whole deal. You know what I mean? Like with this person. Uh, but this was a person who I dated for a short period of time and kept trying to get me to have sex outside of marriage. Because at the time I was a virgin before I got married to my ex-husband. And because he just was not about that life of waiting to marriage. And I remember breaking up with him like, dude, I just feel so much pressure. And there's so much more to me than just my body. So we just can't do this. And he resurfaced after years, you know, and we were still on the same page, you know, just still like finish each other's sentences and all the things, you know? So I just was wrestling because he wanted to come and see me. And I was just like, well, maybe he's finally ready and I'm ready for remarriage, you know, whatever. So because of that, I found myself in this wrestle because I was just like, I don't think that he's gotten like super spiritual. I don't think he's like holy, like I would want him to be like going to church the minute ago. I just don't think so. And like, even the way that the vibe that was happening on the phone with him, I was like, I don't think he's changed. And so I was just like, maybe being with me is going to cause him to not whatever. You know what I mean? And so I got on the phone with my mentor and I'm telling him this and telling him this. And normally he just asked a lot of questions, but he was just like, no. And I was like, what? He goes, no, this is not what that looks like. He goes, you know, first of all, if it's God's man, you're not going to have to like try to convince him to not like he is going to, everybody wants to have sex. Like everybody wants to have sex, right? period. But we submit to the Lord and choose not to because we want to honor and be pure and all this type of stuff. And he goes, so you, you have to get someone who is like, I'm on page with that. I want this really bad and I want you, but I love God more than I want to be with you. That was what I needed to hear. You know what I mean? It was like, I knew that, you know what I mean? But it's kind of like sometimes when you want what you want, what you want, what you want, you need wisdom. There's also was a time when there was this really, 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 really big business deal. It was actually earlier this year. Someone wanted to partner with me and it had potential to make me a lot of money, but it also had to potential of making somebody else a lot of money and me not much money at all short term and long term and so I was just like I was wrestling and so when I got on the phone with him he was just like asking a lot of questions he never told me what he was thinking but he said in the end he said I am praying and going to pray so that you can get very clear on what God is saying he goes but Kenya you know God you you know him you're gonna know that you know that you know listen to him listen to yourself and I said okay and within a day or two, I knew my answer. It was like that. I knew it. And it, cause it wasn't about what he said or what God said to him. It was the questions that he asked me. And then him saying, you know, God, you know, he's going to help lead you in the right direction. And he did. And to come to find out it was a bad business deal. Not with the, not a terrible person, but not the best person to be in business with for me. And so it was so, so valuable to have that guidance and wisdom come from him as a mentor, which was questions. Does that make sense? And so if you're on this journey of trying to hear God, like being able to invite people into your, um, into the conversation, giving your mentors an opportunity to pray. Like a lot of times I'll ask my best friend to just pray. It doesn't mean I'm asking her for her guidance. I'm just like, just pray. I remember this one time kind of crazy, but when I was going through divorce, I was used to engaging in intimacy with my ex, you know, every night or whatever, or every other night, whatever it was, you know, and I still wanted that even though I was going through divorce, I didn't want him, but I wanted it, you know, and I had this opportunity opportunity to sleep with someone that wanted to sleep with me years ago. I'm being very honest and transparent here. And I wanted it. He wanted it. And I was going to go fly and go and see him. But it was like, I had this thing that was just like, no, that's not what I want. First of all, I'm still married first. Second of all, I don't sleep around. That's just not who I am. That's just not what I do. That's not what I have ever done. And then three, I'm like, no, <laughs> Like, no. And so I called two of my friends and was just like, here's this opportunity. Here's what I want to do. Here's what I don't want to do. And one of my friends was quoting scriptures. And I said, listen, I don't need your scriptures. I know what you do every single day. I Listen, you are not one to quote scriptures to me. And I said, like, but I'm calling you just so you can pray because I want the Holy Spirit to arrest me, to help me, not necessarily convict me, so to speak, because it's like I was already convicted, but it was like, I wanted the power of the Holy Spirit to help me to make this decision not to. And I had to fully explain that. She said, I get it now. I'm like, I just need God to just give me the strength, you know, because the spirit is willing and the flesh is weak. And I'm like, just the Holy Spirit to come in and help me. And that's exactly what happened. And I ended up calling. I was like, listen, I'm, I I can't do that. He goes, Whew, you know, I don't want to do it either, you know, or whatever. And I was just like, cause it was, it just wasn't what I wanted to, wanted to really do. I was just, you know, lonely and wanting to engage because I was, you know, freshly going through a divorce after being very active, you know, with my 
husband at the time, but then soon to be ex-husband, you know? And so that's why it's so important to like invite people into this journey, invite a mentor in that way you can hear God and do the things God is inviting you to do. I know you're like, did she just talk about that on the podcast? Yeah. And somebody needed to hear that. Okay. It has nothing to do with this subject, but you needed to hear that. That's what you can do if you want to be able to hear God. Okay. If you enjoyed this episode, you're on YouTube, be sure to hit like and subscribe. Ask any questions you have in the comments. If you are listening on the podcast, please write a review and just tell me what you loved about this episode because I do read all the reviews. I do read all the comments and I'm going to be like commenting back as much as possible and reading some of these live on air. So please give me your feedback. I would love it and I would appreciate it. If you're loving the podcast on YouTube, make sure you go and listen to it on the go on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, and Stitcher.